Hey there, it's Costa Kimlat. I'm preparing for my virtual magic show to benefit Second Harvest Food Bank. You can get your tickets to attend. And this morning, I got to speak with our local news reporter, Jason Guy, and I got to do a little magic for him and tell him all about the show. So check it out. Hi, today we're talking about helping make hunger disappear. And joining us is an illusionist to help do that, Costa Kimlat. And from Second Harvest Food Bank, we have Victoria Mucha. Hi to both of you. Hello. Hey, how are you? All right, Kostya, because you're a world-renowned magician, you've fooled Penn and Teller, let's get into this with some tricks here. Here's what's cool, though. But in your hands, when I looked into your deck as you riffled through, I saw the eight of clubs. Take a look. What did you cut to? <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's awesome. That is crazy. Okay, wow to get them all right. But this gave me confidence already. So let's see, nice. Oh, come on. Two for two, yes, three for three. Let's see it, five for five. Nicely done, my friends. <laughs> Impressive. But that's why you fool Penn and Teller. That's why you are blowing minds all over the globe. And you're doing this virtually, which is really a cool way of presenting magic. It, it doesn't feel like something that, you could do this way because you need the stage, but Costa, you've made it happen. And that's magic that we were part of. That's really cool. You know, the, the real interesting thing is that I, I'm using technology to elevate the human connection and connect people together. That's the real secret about it is that the whole studio is set up to maximize the human interaction. You know, I, I've been presenting all these virtual magic shows for businesses around the world. So I've got four different cameras set up here. And what's cool about it is that everyone has a front row view. And one of the important things that I have, probably the most important thing is this right here is where I get to see my audience. So this way, you know, you get to know it's live and you get to know we're interactive. And if I want to bring someone up on stage and get someone to participate and be a part of the show, that's how we do it. So it's really, really fun. And then I've also got an overhead camera. You can't see it, but this allows me to bring in people so you can see their reactions and perform close up magic for you even closer than if you were in person. This is what we're going to see as part of this really cool show you're putting together to help benefit Second Harvest Food Bank. For me, this all started a year ago when in March of last year, business was completely shut down. Um, you know, I do all my in-person events, speaking and performing, and it was 100% canceled. And so we're at home stocking our pantry, thinking how we can live off our savings. And I just remember feeling how difficult and uncertain that situation was. And, and just two weeks later, I got my first call to do a virtual show for a business client and because I specialize in business events and people are working remotely from home, I got to do more magic for more people over the last year than I ever had before. Um, Amy and I, while she's pregnant with our second daughter, we build this whole new business and we went from 100% canceled to by December having the best month and the best year I've ever had in business. So it was just shocking and just striking. But what I remember, and I've been thinking about it so much recently, was how difficult and how uncertain it felt those weeks when everything was falling apart. And, and I know that so many people have continued to have that feeling. And I thought this show has provided for my family for a year. I wanna use the show to help families in need, children and seniors, people who needed the most. And so instantly the first thought I had was to connect with Second Harvest Food Bank. Kostya made a wonderful point. In the beginning, people were draining out their savings. They're trying to you know, survive and seeking food assistance for the first time in their lives. So it's it's definitely not a race, it's a marathon. you know. Um, and partnerships like this, Kostya, is incredible. In the community, the advocacy to help our neighbors in need, each dollar translates to 400 meals. Yeah, this feels like the magic where you put on this show, all the money goes to Second Harvest Food Bank and they create these meals. And they really do work magic when that $1 turns into four. And, and the, the transfer of energy is truly powerful in the virtual realm. I know a lot of people have uh, doubt or skepticism, but I can guarantee that I will exceed your expectations in what's possible in the virtual world. We sure have today. Thank <laughs> you, both of you for being here. And we love what you're doing to benefit our neighbors who are struggling right now. And we're going we're gonna to see hunger disappear because of this effort. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. The virtual magic show benefiting the Second Harvest Food Bank is this Thursday at 7 p.m. We do have the ticket information posted on WESH.com, an excellent way to help give back here in our community. Yeah. And Second Harvest Food Bank is just such a wonderful local community partner that yes. does so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Also, it looks fun, right? Yeah. It does look like I mean, a ton of fun. Who would have thought that like magicians virtually, that that could be a thing? Yeah. Do you remember gathering around the television when you were younger and um, they would have like 
they would have actual magic shows via television and you would like pick a card on screen and somehow <laughs> that was the card that they picked? No, but that blows my mind. <laughs> oh, this was back in the 90s. I wonder if anyone else has done this. Um, if anyone else has done it, let us know. I certainly <laughs> have not done this. I, I don't know what she's thing. talking about. Wow, you guys. <laughs> anyway. Leave me out to dry. Well, let's pick a card. <laughs>